Jacob Barnett, here with an introduction to scientific notation. I figured that since I was teaching it to my two brothers, Wesley and Ethan, I would be able to post it onto YouTube. So, now, why do we need scientific notation in the first place, and what is it? Scientific notation is a way to express very large numbers and very small numbers. So, well, you're probably wondering, well, why do we have very large numbers? Well, imagine how many meter sticks it would take to get to the nearest star. It would take about that many meter sticks to get to Proxima Centauri. The amount of meter sticks it would take to get to the center of the galaxy is about 25,000 times that. Or this. Well, to be exact, it's 25,000 times the one light year, so you're going to get that is the amount of meter sticks it takes to get to the center of the galaxy. The largest distance that we've observed in meters or yards is about this, which is also a large number. But it's not the largest number we've observed yet. The number of protons, which I'm sure I think I've got a trend going with this purple. So the number of observable protons. is given by a 1 followed by 17 zero. I mean, not 17, 78 zeros. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 76, 77, 78. Alright, we're doing for it. So, now, how are we going to fix this problem? Well, for scientific notation, we're going to count the number of zeros. So let's see, I'm going to use the green. So, we count the number of zeros. And we take this first digit, which in this case you can do both digits, but so in the first case we have four, and then we have 16 zeros. So that number is four times 10 to the 16. Well, you're probably wondering where did I get for that result? Well, four times 10 has one zero after it. Four times 10 squared has two zeros after it. And you can see the pattern show, and you can use induction to prove that that guy has that tenth amount of zeros. So, now why don't we try to express each of these as scientific notation? So, this guy should be 4 times 10 to the 16 meters. This guy should be about 20. 5 times 10 to the 19. However, instead of writing 25, we'll say 2.5 and pretend the 5 is an extra 0 in our 10 to the 16. So 2.5 times, instead of 10 to the 19, we'd be 10 to the 20. Here's, and this guy, instead of 2.5, we're going to have 1.37. Seven times, let's see, I got 19, 13, and 14. So, two, two, actually, why don't we count the zeros? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, yeah, 26. And for the protons, as I told you, this will have about 10 to the 78. Instead of writing 1, we'll just omit the 1 since. 1 times anything is just itself. So this is about 10 to the 78. Okay. How do we deal with small numbers? 
Well, we'll have to do that in part two. We'll make it two parts.